plus six. I like it. I like That's it. how you do it. Oh. Could have done long division as well. That would have worked. Yeah. All right. Doing some factoring. Your factoring worksheet that you worked on yesterday. Most of that was binomials. Factoring with trinomials today. This is not new stuff, but it is stuff that's pretty important. So we got to look at it and remember how to do everything. So first thing I got here says a squared plus 9a plus 20. Directions tell us the factor. Okay. Main goal, first, first uh, rule is still always going to be to look for a GCF. So a squared plus 9a plus 20. Is there a GCF in that? No. No, there's not. So from there, when there's no GCF and when it's a trinomial, meaning there's three terms, our rule is you take a times c. Okay, remember standard form of a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. So my a, the coefficient in front of that, that's an understood one. So I'm looking at 1 times 20. Okay, I need the factors of that that add to my b. So, thank you. Let's, let's, since it's the first one, let's list them all today. But that's, that's right. 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Uh, I could also make both of them be negatives. For this one, I obviously don't need that, but you will need it eventually. Okay, now out of all those factors of 20, I need the pair that adds to my B, which is 9, which Angie is right. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, now this is easy to do when your A is 1, when there's no number in front of your squared variable, because all you got to do is take, bless you, Take the square root, so square root a squared, I've got an a, and then put my factors. And that's it. That's it? Yep. Hmm. When the a is not 1, that we'll see in a little bit, it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's easy to work with when that a is 1. I like it. Like it a wolf. How would we check that if we needed to? You're about to say it. Foil them, multiply them, foil them, check them. All right, let's look at another one of those. You got what you need there? How about b squared minus 7b plus 10? All right, so I'm going to keep asking you because we're going to have one in a second that does. Is there a GCF? No. no. So it's a trinomial. There's no GCF, so I do a times c. What do I get on a times c? 10. 1 times 10 is 10. Now this time... I know I'm going to need the negatives because my B is a negative 7. So I need what can multiply to make a positive 10 and add to make a negative 7. Negative 5 times negative 2 does make positive 10. Negative 5 plus negative 2 does make negative 7. So since that's a 1B squared, all we got to do is break it down and plug the factors in. That's it. That's correct, Mr. McCall. All right, let's look at this dude here. T squared plus 3T minus 5. All right, does that have GCF? No. So it's trinomial, so what do you get on A times C? Negative 5. Factors of negative 5 now, it's a little bit different. It can be 1 times negative 5. You could be negative 1 times 5. Are there any other factors of 5? No, it's prime, isn't it? So that's it. So I need the pair of those that adds to 3. This one, 1 plus negative 5 is negative 4. That's no bueno. So it's prime. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. That's no bueno. So none of them work. So Mr. Harclaw is right again. That one will be prime. I'll be turning the class over to Mr. Hartlaw. Oh. Yeah. All right, can we do one that's got a couple of variables? Yes, we can, Louise. 
There you go. What you need on that page? Mm. All right. Some Q's in it for you, too. P yeah. squared <laughs> minus, whoa, that minus sign fell down there. Let's put it up there where it goes. Minus 5PQ plus 6Q squared. Alrighty, do we got a GCF? No. So, A times C, only looking at the coefficients, not worry about the P's and the Q's. A times C would be 6. Are there any factors of 6 that add to negative 5? Negative 6 times 1 would make negative 6, though. There you go, negative 3, negative 2. Those multiply to make a positive 6, they add to make a negative 5. Now, I got a Q squared on the back of this. So when I have my P and my P like that, since I've got a Q squared on the back, I'm going to have in the back of them a Q and a Q. Now I just plug my two factors in, minus 3 and minus 2. We are, we are. Alright, you alright on that one? Here, moving up a road here now, I got 3a cubed plus 12a squared minus 15a. There's a GCF. What is the GCF? 3A. 3A, very good. So this is like yesterday's review. We're going to put a 3A outside and divide everything by 3A. 3 divided by 3 is 1. A cubed divided by A will be A squared. 12 divided by 3 is 4. A squared by A is A. Good job. Minus 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then A is gone. All right, now sometimes you'll be lucky enough to be done there, but we got to look at that trinomial now and see if it can factor any farther. So on the trinomial, in the parentheses, if I do my A times C, that gets me negative 5. Are there any factors of negative 5 that add to 4? Good, negative 1 and 5, right? Negative yeah. 1 plus 5 is negative 5, negative 1 plus 5 is 4. So this is going to be A minus 1, and it doesn't matter what order you put them in. You can put the plus 5 one first if you wanted to. And then don't forget to bring your 3A down with you. Want to wear chicken dinner? I like chicken. Yeah, chicken's good. Well, if you live here, I'm supposed to even have no chicken. Everybody, are they ready? They wouldn't on that sheet yesterday. Yeah. All right, now to the fun ones. I got 6K squared minus 19K plus 10. All right, do we got a GCF? No, 19's in there and it's prime, so you know you're not going to have a GCF, but it's still a trinomial, so we still have to do our A times C. So that gets me 60, 6 times 10. Now I'm looking for the factors of 60 that add to negative 19. You got 160, you got 2 and 30, you got 3 and 20, you got 4 and 15. 4 and 15 is probably going to be my combo, isn't it? But I need it to be a negative 19, so I would need negative, negative and a negative. Okay, negative 4 times negative 15 is positive 60. Negative 4 plus negative 15 is negative 19. Now, I don't get to just write k minus 4 and k minus 15 like I did before. This is when we have to do our factoring by grouping. So I'm going to take negative 19k out, and I'm going to substitute in what makes negative 19k. So I'm going to write 6k squared minus 4k minus 15k plus 10. I just substituted in. It's the same value, right? Negative 4 minus 15 is negative 19. Now, we did this last week. We've got four terms now. You can group. Or so we're going to group. You're exact mundo. Okay, what's the GCF of that first group? 2K. 2K. 
Divide everything by 2k. 6 divided by 2 is 3. k squared divided by k is k. Minus 4 divided by 2 is 2. And k is out. Alright, what would the GCF of the second group be that would also get me a 3k minus 2? Well, I need my 5 to be positive or negative. Negative. That's an ugly 5. 15, negative 15k divided by negative 5 is a positive 3k. 10 divided by negative 5 is a negative 2 divided by negative, yeah. So we had to make those signs right. Okay, now what we have twice, 3k minus 2. And we'll, okay, right. What we took out, 2k minus 5. How did we know that we didn't have to, uh, or how do we know that we can't just put it in? We had a, had a non-1, something other than 1. 2k squared, 3k squared, anything other than 1. Oh, somebody slammed that though. Yeah, I'm angry. We figured out the Hillary was, that's all rigged. Figure out she's taking her chicken away. Yeah. Hey, I have 16 chickens in my house. I can hold out for a little while. Well, that it. Come get them. <laughs> we have to get chicken. Yeah, I voted a couple weeks ago. The first week I heard it. Oh, man. Plus three. Do I have a GCF? Negative. No, no, no. So eight times C because there's three terms. Ten times three makes thirty. Factors of thirty that add to seventeen. Fifteen. Good, two. Good job. Fifteen two. Two and fifteen. Okay. Now I'm gonna just when I substitute those in here for good old seventeen, I'm gonna put them in the order I wrote them. But sometimes I might have to try again and flip them. Remember we looked at that last week. 10x squared plus 2x plus 15x plus 3. Don't forget to put the x's on the 2 and the 15 when you plug them in there because it's got to make 17x. So, all right, group those things up. What's the GCF of my first group? I had a kid, 2x. 10x squared by 2x is 5x. Good. 2x by 2x is 1. Don't leave off your plus 1 there. 3. 3 would be over here. 15x divided by 3 is 5x. 3 divided by 3 is 1. one. Nice, nice, nice. So what we had twice, 5x plus 1. What we took out, 2x plus 3. Yep, yep. C gets me a negative 30 because that's a negative 5. 6 times negative 5 gets me negative 30. Alright, what could get me a negative 30 and add to a positive 7? 10. 10 and negative 3. Good job. 
Now when I plug those in, that's an M in. So I've got 6 M squared plus 10 M in minus 3 M in minus 5 N squared. Root. Alright. Root those things. Since we're not going to work scout, or are you just doing it different than me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Prom. No, Scout's uh, saying I might need to switch the 10 oh, and the yeah. 3. Let's go ahead and, and go with it and see, though, because if I take a 2 out of this, that's going to get me. I, I think it's going to work. Let's take a 2 M out. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Mm -hmm. M squared yeah. divided by M is M. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Oh, I took the M out, so there's an N. Alright, I see I've got an N in both of these, but I need my 3 and my 5 to be positive, so I need to take out a negative N. Negative by negative is a positive. That one's got an M left. Negative by negative is a positive. And yeah. that's an N. Oh, left my 5 off. There's yeah. a 5 there. <laughs> I was trying to make Scout be right on that. Alright, so we got 3M. Five in. What are you trying to say? Come here. Alright, we got just a couple more. Hang in there. Maybe three more. Alright, this one, I got a negative 2p squared minus 5p plus 12. <laughs> that was interesting. Alright, do I have a GCF? No, but when my A is a negative, that makes my factoring a little bit more difficult because it's hard when you just check something and foil it for a first times a first to be a negative, isn't it? Right? So I'm going, when your A is a negative, you need to go ahead and factor that out. Okay, so that's just going to change all your signs. Dividing everything by a negative. Okay? Now, can I, um, A times C in there, be negative 24? Do I have any factors of negative 24 that add to 5? Um, there we go. I was trying to write real slow. You're the only one following me. 8 and negative 3. So substitute those in for the 5P. I'll have 2P squared plus 8P. Minus 3P, P. minus 12. Group those dudes up. What's the GCF of your first group? I'll be honest with you here. What the heck is a negative one talking about? I divided it out in the beginning to turn my A to a positive. Uh, yeah, Alright, so it's going to be P plus 4. What would the GCF of the second group be? 3. Negative 3 leaves you with P plus 4. So we've got P, P plus 4, 2P minus 3. 3, and then we took a negative 1 out in the beginning. So you can either write a negative 1 there, or, or you can just put a negative sign. Yeah, I also did that if I don't know how to do it. Do you have to do that? Or just, you know, yeah, because if you were to FOIL this, you it has you can't have what if you made yeah, like P minus I mean, 4 and 2P plus 3. Did you have to take the negative? Out first. Did you have to do that up there, the first step? I don't, um, hold on. Sydney, ask me your question again, then I'm going to get the guys. What if you just make P minus 4 and 2P plus 3? I don't know. Let's, I want to look and see if, if what y'all are saying is right, because I don't know for sure. Let me write the problem again and see. Negative 2P squared minus 5P. All right, I do not know for sure. I always... When my A is a negative, I always factor an A out. But all y'all are asking, so I'm going to check it and see if I can get it without doing that. A times C would be negative 24. I think it'll be okay. Factors of negative 24 that add a negative 5 now will be a negative 8 and a positive 3. So 
So it'll be negative 2p squared minus 8p plus 3p plus 12. Truly it, it seems like it's going to. I just, I don't, I don't know why. It's... Change the sign later. So. so here now I'm going to take a negative 2 out, right? Uh, negative 2p. 2p, yes ma'am. P, P plus 4. Here I'm going to take a positive 3 out. P, P plus 4. So there you've you got P plus 4. And then negative 2p plus 3. So yeah, you still could have got the a right answer if you didn't take the negative out in the beginning. The signs are a little bit different than what you were saying, Sydney, but you were on the right road with it. If I take it out in the beginning, I'm going to put it back Okay, then just do it like that then. It'll be, it'll be good. It's a cubed, I wrote a squared. 4m cubed plus 2m squared minus 6m. Alright, do we got GCF? Yeah. M and what else? Two. 2. So we factor 2m out. That leaves me with, what, what do I have inside? Now we got to see if that trinomial in the parentheses can go any farther. So A times C being negative 6. Are there any factors in negative 6 that add to 1? Yes. Yes, what are they? Negative 2 and 3. Good. So that's going to get me 2M squared minus 2M, excuse me, plus 3M minus 3. And I put those in the... Order Scout told me that time, and that makes it look a lot prettier. I got twos by each other and threes by each other. Okay, so this first group would have a 2m GCF. Leaves me with m minus 1. What would the GCF of the second group be? 3. So that'll leave me with m minus 1. So we had m minus 1 and 2m plus 3. But don't forget that 2m from the beginning, drop it down here to join the party. I'm sad at it. I don't fully understand. Why do you need to take this if you don't understand? So I can look back on it and be like, oh, that's what that was. So it's back where the beginning was like, I guess not. Her and Miss Rocket are both going. Okay. Alright, last one, last one, last one. <laughs> Six R to the fourth went to a fourth power minus thirteen R squared plus five. All right, shh, y'all simmer down. Good thing on this with the fourth power is that can still break down in your two parentheses as a squared and a squared. So you can still do this the same way. You'll just have squareds instead of firsts in there. There's no GCF because thirteen's prime and five's prime, so you don't have that. A times C is thirty. Factors of 30 that add a negative 13? Well, 15 and negative 2 would make a negative 30. So I had to have the negative 3 and the negative 10 that she said first on that. Okay, signs have got to work out. All right, so now 6R to the 4th. All right, you think you put them in that order? I got them in there. I like it. Minus 3R squared minus 10R squared plus 5. We look golden. We look good there. I like it. All right, so I got a three R squared in this first group, right? Correct. So that leaves me with two R squared minus one. What do I need to take out in the second group? The negative, five. negative five. Nice job, Miss Bradshaw. That leaves me with a two R squared minus one. So we got two R squared minus one. 3R squared minus 5. And 3R squared minus 5. Man, you're smart. Mr. Pew! Why couldn't you? Because negative 15. Oh, wait, no, okay. Glad, <laughs> glad I could help. Glad I could help. Ah! Everybody good on that? Oh, this light is so silly.
Alright, tomorrow stuff still factoring. Tomorrow stuff it'll be just some like difference of squares and some of the shortcuts that we can use. Okay? So as Austin would say, they'll be around. Hang on.